Welcome to a new edition of the Harness Edge's two-year-olds in training. I'm Harold Howe and I'm here with Marcel Vario at uh, Shamrock Training Center and uh, we're going to talk about two, some two-year-olds. Marcel, you're back from Pompano. Looking good. Looking good Everybody yeah. should do this. <laughs> All right. Let's start off with a Radical Attempt. Now, this is a $20,000 Forest City horse, Angus Hall, colt from Windback Farm. Mother threw a couple horses, but nothing special, but it uh, looks good on the track. Yeah, I've kind of liked him right from day one, like, you know, for an Angus Hall, I didn't know what to expect. Uh, and uh, his manners are real good so far, so until we see the gate, probably. Yeah. So, so we're here mid-May, what range are you at coming out of Florida where everything's sunny and wonderful? Well, in Florida, I was down 13, and then when I come back, I backed him off, and uh, now I've trained him Saturday in 2-8. And here, if this horse doesn't catch your eye, nothing does. Phantom Sealster, a roan by my calculation, another gelding. They're both geldings. Did we just have a bad day or what happened there? Well, I wasn't taking no chances. So Angus Hall especially and then this other fellow, I said, on the lag side, lag. He's got lag on the on the damn side. So yeah. I said, might as well get. So the, Fa Phantom Sealster, he's, he's a Mach 3. You had to dig deep here, 74,000 at Forest City. And um, as we know, they weren't giving away Ontario Breads last fall. He's out of Pentecostal, and Mayor Mark Horner did some real good with. And this lad, boy, he's got presence on the track. Yeah, yeah, he's been uh, good from day one. Like uh, You didn't buy him just for the color. Well, I paid extra for the color, I know that. But uh, when I sell him, I'll get extra too. <laughs> and... Uh, He's been real good pace and all the time, free-legged and everything, so uh, I got quite a jump on yeah. with him. Yeah. Seriously, at 74,000, you weren't the only one that liked him. Well, that's for sure. Like, you know, I, I wasn't bidding against myself, so I am hope they're right. And um, uh, I guess being gelded you always sort of wonder with a bit of log blood in there you know attitude and so forth well that's the main reason that I uh, went ahead and but did you uh, get the result you wanted yes I did because he never uh, at first like he kind of thought he was moody but after yeah. that he just drove on like you know yeah. trained down every week like where we wanted to go Good. yeah I gotta ask you about Drock and Hanover too just a money-making machine. Everybody should own one of these types. And uh, had a nice winter. What do you think now? Well, he is when he's right. Like you know, and you know, uh, he hasn't raced good here since I come back. But I just found out that uh, he's got a little mucus in him, and I have yeah. to treat him up and try to get him better. Well, as you guys say, it's not if they get sick, it's when. Exactly. I, I wish we knew when, but yeah. we don't know. Till after their race. But it's a very nice horse for the people who own them and yourself. Oh, for sure. Like, you know, I mean, any horse that's got over 500,000, he done some good somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Let's hope those other two-year-olds are listening. Listen, thanks very much, and uh, good luck in the weeks ahead. Thank you very much, Harold. Harold Howe with Marcel Barrio, two-year-olds in training.